Hey guys, welcome to Fun Employed with Minx, Sean, and Dan. I think Hi. I called you Ritz last time. I'm Greetings. Sure every time. It's, Hello, everyone. Okay. You gotta come to plays <laughs> next time. Call, is that the call him, Ri call him Ritzy Poo? <laughs> call him Ritzy Poo. The time after that. Every oh. time I read his name, I really want crackers. I think it's because the Ritz crack. Oh man, I want crackers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like every time someone reads my name, they want little yellow Twinkies. Stupid what? Little beans. Minions. Oh. Little... No, oh my video, god. My video, my video title is gonna be Wait, call me a cracker? Question yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, No. no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh -oh. What did I just do? Wait. Oh god. Uh, He's going to explain the rules to us. If, <laughs> if you can remember how to do it. Yes. So, with Fun Employed, it's really simple. Help wanted, my job. So what we would do is, we mm. would grab one of these cards. Like which, each of us I mean, grab I one? I we go ahead and just flip one over. There's plenty of cards here, right? So we can just go a practice round. Yeah. Sure, so, um, let's, say, let's say I'm the judge. So yeah. I'm trying to hire a model. Okay. Oh. So, well. all right. So, so I want you guys to tell me why you'd be the best model. So the way you typically would play this game is you would all draw like five cards or something and pick yeah. your two or three favorites, yada, yada. But we're not going to do that way. So um, do we want to go clockwise or counterclockwise? Do you want Dan to go after me? I mean, that's kind of well, clockwise. That's fine. That's sure. fine. Wait, is fine. I have to okay. lobby to you why I would be a good model? Yes, but can't use the cards? You're, you, you are stuck lobbying to me with these green <laughs> cards that you get. So oh, for example, okay. let's pretend I wanted to – I'm applying for my own job. I want to okay. be a model. So okay. Okay. the reason I'd make a great model is because I'm very passive aggressive. And we all know if you're going to be a model, you have to have the right attitude. And passive aggressiveness is the way to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's actually a terrible card, but you have to try to play it off, right? Yeah. So, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. I get you. Another reason I'd be a great model is pound for pound. <laughs> I weigh next to nothing. I haven't eaten in 36 <laughs> years. I drink nothing but heroin. I weigh what? nothing. I am a great model. Shut up, Dan. I Is that a standard for models injecting heroin? Uh, have no, you but seen it's America's why Next Top good, Model? Dan. Come on, Dan. <laughs> heroin burns calories. This is yeah. fact. Come on. Yeah, you I know, guess so. I learned a lot from my parents, and one of the best things I got from them, which helped me in my modeling career, sure. was spray. Uh, they made me smell very nice all the time. So I not only do I smell good, but I mm. weigh nothing, and I've got the model attitude. Therefore, bam, hire me. Okay. okay. So guess, we're doing, we're doing three cards each? I got you. Yeah. Yes, we'll do three cards just like – and you can set it up however you want to. Like, you can just go the first reason, the second reason, the third reason. Or, like, I did the setup the last time. My parents helped me out by – and then just, you know, you get some really weird shit that you have to try to, like, fudge okay. in there. And it makes okay, it funny no, no, no. sometimes. This is, this is fun. This sounds fun. Uh, yeah. I like the it idea. It sounds creative. I, I, like, I like a good little improv game. It's fun. Uh -huh. Yes. And you I, did, I, I would improv heavy. You did a good job, on... you did a good job of explaining it as well. Is there, like, a discard or is it, like, a shuffle? Reshuffle them in? So to or... shuffle, we can just uh, grab the deck and shake. Uh, Whoa! Okay. Um, so... But since we've already done model... Oh. Ah. Can I can well, I just say I'm I, I, if, if you're if you're new to Tabletop Simulator it's really uh, difficult to like deal so if one person deals it would make it things a lot messier. We don't yeah. even need to deal. We just literally draw the top deck as we go. Okay. Okay. How cool. do you turn the screen? What is all this? You can right click to like right -click rotate click around and, and... Shake. Yeah. W A S D oh move you around the table. Oh, that would have been good to know. I've just been rotating. Oh. And you can oh, also scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm perfect. I right. Like okay. So. Let's start again. Um, do you want to wait? Oh, do you want to try and hire Dan to begin with? Or? Sure. Oh, Logistically, oh, oh, oh. I'm thinking to hire what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to flip the black card like right here in the middle. Okay. And then if you guys just want to grab your green cards and like put them. I have a green right card. Right I can here. stay in America. Not in this <laughs> climate. Um, <laughs> if you just want to. Yeah. It's a desert climate. So how do you flip like it over? In... Uh, middle mouse. Well, oh. well, okay. Wait, I'm just. Middle mouse wait. button. So you're looking uh, for a okay. what? Oh, what is it you're looking for? So, okay, so we're ready to go. <laughs> Dan, you're going to go first. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. What do you got? Dude? All right. So, Dan, tell me why you would make a great butcher for me. Oh, all right. I've got this. Uh, uh, that's, uh oh. That's, uh, that's why I say some one person should like like flip the cards and stuff because it's pretty hard to I control. Can do it. Nice with you. Uh, said it's wait, go ahead and flip that I'm for me. I'm going to draw three cards here. All right. To each other. We'll make all this right, work. Dan. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Dan, you're going to be, tell me why you're going to make a great butcher. Do you want to just, all you got to do is click and middle mouse button to flip it. Just click the middle mouse button. Don't rotate it. Click it. That, that click doesn't, it. that's not what happens. Wait, the screen zooms in when I click that. Click it with the that? middle three. I click the middle mouse button. I, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. And it's yeah, just me, zooming me, me in. As well, for me, it seems to. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Regardless, then... let's get let's get going. Well, yeah. that's perfect. I would make an incredible butcher because I have a lot of grit. You need a lot of grit to chop meat up. You have mm. to cut through bones and other things like that. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right. That's I can true. See that. That's true. That's true. Okay. You got the grit. What so, else yeah. you got there? Here, let me let me help you, Dan. Yeah, let Wade control them. <laughs> <laughs> I have the cavity to store the meat in. Which cavity are we talking about here? Which yeah. cavity oh, are we talking about? The here? meat storage cavity. Mm. Of course, that one. Now, Ritz, yeah. this, Ritz, Ritz, what's I, your meat storage cavity? <laughs> see, I know all about meat storage cavities. If oh, you, good. Ritz gets me. I gotcha. Real good. Okay. I just don't know if Dan gets me. Cavity. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious why you would use a cavity instead of, like, you know, a fridge or a freezer, but I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued that's that's a square last cavity. Reason. And um, I have an incredible sob story as to why I us, became a butcher. Tell us, tell us yeah, how is, the sad story have I used I, I, lo I was driving down the interstate one day, lost my whole family in a car accident because a deer jumped <gasps> out in front of me and I cut that deer up out of vengeance, what a stored cunt. it in my meat cavity, <laughs> and then sold it to the masses as butchered That's really meat. Good. That's good. That's very good. I, um, I'm intrigued. Okay. Okay. I, I'm intrigued. I'm gonna put these over here by you, right. Dan. So I Ritz, remember. Ritz, is your next up for the interview. I am so next up. Because <laughs> now, right. Ritz, do you need me to flip or can you? Uh, flip? yeah, I don't. The flip just doesn't work. Real well. All right. So, Ritz, tell me why you're gonna make a good butcher. Um. Okay. <laughs> so actually, the important role that a lot of people don't know about butchers is, you know, sometimes you have to go hunt for your own meat. You know. So I'm really good at camouflage. <laughs> So they never, they never notice. Like I'm just dressed up as a cow outside with other cows, just cowing around with all the cows, having a good time, and you know it makes it way easier for me to get them to kill them and slaughter them. So perfect, cowing oh, yeah. around, great. Huh? Oh, great. And apples. See, perfect. <laughs> have you guys ever had a roast where you have a pig and you put apples inside its mouth? Oh, uh, that's actually delicious. Yeah, of it's, course, it's amazing yeah. and it's delicious. And so I have a nice storage of apples for any time we're getting ready for pigs. And, uh, you know, just a little extra service I like to offer to my clients. Perfect. That's, Beautiful. That's great. I love that. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually so successful at my job that I have a really nice sports car. I have my own Lamborghini, uh, you know, in the Ho Hollywood Hills. And uh, so obviously, like, I don't necessarily need the job for pay, but uh, I do it just to get, you know, even more renowned. And maybe eventually I'll be the number one butcher in the world. So. Oh my so you don't God. need the job, but maybe you'd work for free. But okay, maybe, maybe, right. I, maybe I'd work for free. Perfect. That's, that's all right, great. well, guys, I'm afraid I'm going to outclass you all mm -hmm. with, oh. uh, with I don't know, my major interview for a butcher. So my Wayne, meat cavity flip, is pretty impressive. Of course. It is, it Minx, is impressive, but... why are you going to be a great butcher? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, God. Um, guys, all right. I didn't know if you know this about me, uh, but one of the reasons I don't do face cam very often is I do have tentacles that grow out from inside my vagina. <laughs> oh. And they're great for grabbing, passing live shots as I walk past them and storing them in my meat cavity, if you know what I mean. What would that have to do with a face cam? But like, the reason I don't, sometimes they just get out of control. Sometimes they like grabbing, you know, like passing, I don't know, like squirrels and things like that. It's a bit difficult, but you know, it, it's good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I already mentioned a certain crack, but another crack that I really like doing is just like a uh, crack from my local dealer. It really puts me in an energetic mood while I'm going out hunting while I've stocked with my tentacles. I'm like, oh, yes, go and get some. Oh, it feels good. And then I go like bright red faced and run around like a maniac and usually come back out of my sort of like out of my high with about 30 dead animals inside me. Well, <laughs> I'm intrigued. Oh, boy. <laughs> Um, and, uh, uh, oh god, um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I'm not quite sure what this is referring to, but in this instance, it's referring to, uh, the package of, uh, livestock that I send out to my local neighborhood. It's a bit like Loot Crate, um, uh, and it's a package uh -huh. that I mail out with dead animals in. So you get a cocktail of dead animals Ooh. pretty much every week. A sometimes it's squirrels, sometimes it's cow, mail. sometimes it's, um... You know, sometimes it's octopuses. It just happens, you know, whatever it happens to be wandering down the streets that day. You get that your gets grabbed. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you're also you're also like a package deal, crazy. right? Like, you give all yeah. of this and more. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you for upselling me, Ritz. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, oh that's, that's the reason I should be hired as a butcher. I'm uh, wondering if maybe I should just take this job off the market here, but... <laughs> Alas, well, I have to pick one of you. Oh, uh, you do. <laughs> Ritz, who's very successful with his camouflage and his sports car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe out of my price range, unless he's willing to work for free. 
Dan, who stores meat in a not so great place, <laughs> the meat cabinet has an unusual hunting strategy. <laughs> <laughs> so combined, you would all either be one really great or really terrible butcher. Yeah, but separate. Separate, I hate my life. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it to Ming. She had the worst hand to deal yeah. with. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. All right. She, All right. She, I mean, that was just the worst combination <laughs> of crap. Uh, so uh, Dan is now interviewing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, How uh, do I flip? Oh. oh, it's F. It's F to flip for us, by the way. Okay. okay. Um, oh, okay. We, we that... can still put the cards out in the same place. It's good for consistency, I think. Yeah, oh, and okay. then we put oh, them yeah. like I this. Put them down here. You guys want them there? And then this is our yeah. this is our you, draw. Leave them up like this. Oh, sure. Whoa. Yeah. Oh wait, no! Oh well. Just saw right. that. So quickly click and drag at the same instant. Well, there you go. Aha! Okay. This one's mine now. Okay, here we go. Personal, personal trainer. trainer. Wow, I actually. All right, uh, Ritz, that's you. I may actually have the, 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 the what's needed to do this. The, the know-how. Yeah. <laughs> the qualifications. I, may. I probably don't. Let's be trainer. honest. Ritz, you're first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six months All right. left to live. So. I'm actually one of the world's best personal <coughs> trainers, and unfortunately, I only have six months left to live. But because of this, you know, time frame that I have, uh, I've actually been really good at uh, optimizing my time to get the most out of it. Uh, and I, I love obviously exercising a lot, and I want to help people and help as many people as I can. So you know, I even have you know, I've started working on this whole DVD section for you of just like backlog. So even after I die, you can still get that personal training you need. Damn. Wow. Beautiful. Damn. Personal training okay. from beyond the grave. Yeah. Oh, it's impressive. Oh, piece of cake. <laughs> see, it's a piece of cake for my uh, my style of personal training. Uh, every day or every week, I guess rather that you uh, you do well, you get a piece of cake, and that is your reward, and that will help starve <laughs> off your cravings. Because everyone knows if you quit something cold turkey, there's no way it'll work. You have to that's have true. some that's sort true. of cheat true. day or cheat meal or something. And uh, for me, that's a piece of cake, and it makes it. That my personal training uh, mentality is called piece of cake training. Oh. So in six yeah. months, wow. don't quit cold turkey. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and finally... Last but not least, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, oh yes, this is actually on, a little Ritz. bit of a double entendre because uh, I love my <laughs> older women, but uh, actually, uh, we we try to race cougars. That's that's the the goal. We we the butcher job, you know, we we let from the previous round. Uh, we have yeah. the cougars try to go race for that meat, and our job uh, doing the training is to try to get you to uh, catch up to the meat. Now, don't look into the fact that maybe the cougar is how I'm gonna die in six months. We don't know that, <laughs> but <laughs> I think that with my piece of cake training, uh, you're gonna be in great shape. I Beautiful. never thought that, that six was crazy. months of cougar jockeying would. Would lead to better personal <laughs> training. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now I'm interviewing a personal trainer, I guess. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, I look going? forward to seeing what's going to happen. Um, okay. All right, Minx. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, oh. <laughs> Can't well, I mean, one Can't of my training me. methods as a consolation uh, is the consolation prize strategy. That's what I like to call it. Mm -hmm. Basically, oh. um, if you if you mess up on your diet, because let's face it, often if you're on a diet and a personal training scheme, you might mess things up a bit. You know, you might fall uh, off the wagon a bit. What yeah. I do is I give you like a, a small prize just to be like, it's okay. It's all right. Like certain <laughs> prizes that we use, for example, are um, whole uh, chocolate cakes, um, uh, three Not McDonald's pieces. meals in one sitting, things like that. You see, we found that if you if you if you do binge occasionally, overall you will still lose weight because you'll you know you won't have that withdrawal that comes in, and that's why we call it the consolation prize strategy. I've, uh, all right, really? that's it's terrifying. Massage oil. Okay, well you know. I don't like to call it personal training with a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> but that, is, oh, that no. is certainly one of the approaches that we take at <laughs> Consolation Prize training productions. I mean, obviously, I don't do any of the happy endings myself. We have a, oh, uh, uh, a team of Thai masseurs that we have hired directly from Thailand to come and work <laughs> in this industry. They're, they're all experts, all professionals, and uh, added bonus, they don't speak a word of English. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, <man. laughs> 
<laughs> so obviously a lot of people who hire personal trainers probably carry around a bit of extra weight you know what i mean so yeah. uh, we offer bone modification surgery that allows you to run faster and be stronger uh mm. when you're you know especially in those early days you're, you're 700 pounds you haven't moved in like five years and you're like oh my bones are a bit tired it's okay we just inject some titanium into them and suddenly <laughs> man. and uh it really works because then you like you like you feel energized. You run around and you you burn less calories, and that's why I should be hired as a personal trainer. <laughs> Pretty sure Iron Man had a suit and Wolverine was the one. Yeah. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Constellation Price was uh, massage oiling the bone. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, wait. Do your first okay, interview. Well, wait. There it is. Let me man. tell you. Rock. I rock. I'm the best <laughs> personal trainer you've ever seen. Everyone tells me whenever they give me their their call back interviews, they're like, "Man, that guy." He rocked my life. Plus, whenever I'm done with you, you're going to have rock hard abs, rock hard tibias, and rock hard muscles everywhere else that matter. Beautiful. Please right. give me the next card, Dan. For the love of God. Rock rock hard tibias. Yeah. Rock hard tibias. Oh, what? me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. I am so experienced. I used to be a major glutton. And I turned okay. my life around with Globo Gym. And that's how <laughs> I became the man I am today. I take all kinds of gluttons in. You want to shove your face full of 900,000 calories a day, Michael Phelps? Well, you're not an Olympic, Olympic uh, English swimmer, are you? No, you're not an American <laughs> one either. But by the time I'm done with my workout regimen, you can eat all you want, and you're going to need those calories to burn because I'm going to work you hard, and you're going to like it. Great. Wonderful. I love being Wait, hard. I hope you've seen oh, the you're gonna dodgeball. I really hope you have. <laughs> Fish <laughs> Thank you for stockings. My... Ooh. Hey, we like to have fun here. So while we exercise, we love to wear fishnet stockings, which are actually good for you. Believe it or not, the stockings allow your skin to breathe in a unique and fashionable way to where not only are people looking at you running down the street, but they want to be you and they can see the swirl <laughs> of those diamond patterns going down your legs. Oh my God. So while you're shoving down that 900,000 calorie cake and pizza supreme with your rock hard abs and rock hard tibias, you're going to be looking good while you do it. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. So, Dan, it sounds like you've got a difficult choice ahead of you here about very, who you're going to hire for the personal trainer It's a job. great yep. choice. It is a great choice. I'm going to go with Ritz. <laughs> six <laughs> months left to live. <laughs> well, enjoy your six months of training. Yeah. Hardcore training. Do you not remember? It's a piece of cake. I already have all the extra DVDs ready for him, man. <laughs> Even when I'm dead. Also, six months, you can make a major life change in six months. Everyone knows. Yeah, like death. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to say it that way, how do I, um... It's a piece of cake. It's Q and E, is that how this works? I think so. Why am I putting these discarded ones on there? Yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. Cougar right. jockeys. So, so gonna, Ritz. This is the one that I got, so I'm going to keep it over yeah. here for me. Oh, I guess I can do it there. Minx, yeah. this is your yes. card. You got, you have to butcher something where you want to put okay. that. Oh, you can put it You can put it up there in your hand. That's true. Okay, let me yeah. go back to... I'll keep it on your side of the table, so it's easier Yeah, keep, for... just keep it there for consistency. All right, Ritz, you're interviewing for which job? Uh, let me find out how to uh, play this game and uh, have I'll to flip, flip it. There you go. I'm looking oh. for an ice cream maker. <laughs> wow. Ooh, yes. I'm up first here. So, you uh, sure are. Do you want to see. grab your own cards or want me to do it for you? Uh, no, can you do it for me because I'm incompetent? <laughs> oh, well, that's a great <laughs> but not, start but not a ice cream great making. starting qualification. But not an ice cream making. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so... Here at Minx Ice Creams Incorporated, we do like to experiment with unusual flavors. And we find actually one of my most, um, most popular flavors is taint flavored ice cream. Because, you know, some girls do like to suck on an old ball sack. And we captured the essence of that and put it in an ice cream. And it's one of our most popular sellers. You wouldn't think it is, but fuck me, they love it. Is it, is it, gobble up those is this, testicles. Is this like musky taint or is this like clean, <laughs> fresh out of the shower taint? Fresh out of the shower, a little touch of Calvin Klein, please. Okay. Oh, I got you. <laughs> the fleshy flavored yeah, yeah. taint. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see if you can get any better cards. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so another selling point is all our staff at Ice Cream Maker, male or female, all wear yoga pants when they're serving you their ice cream, and oh. they make sure to bend over and scoop that up, just mm. sit right in front of you. So you get service with a view as you order your ice cream. And uh, we found that it's very popular uh, among everyone, really, actually. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, why yoga pants are really popular in our uh, taint-flavored ice cream company. I mean, I, I believe it, <laughs> you know. But uh, let's see what else you got here. <laughs> oh, so 
They say that fear is a powerful motivator, and uh-huh. you are hundred percent right. That is true. Basically, all our staff who wear yoga pants and serve tanked ice cream come with a uh, a handgun. And mm-hmm. if you if you walk past and you're like, hmm, I'm not sure I want the ice cream, they're like, buy the fucking ice cream or you're dead. <laughs> and wow. we find that in most cases, people will actually opt to buy the ice cream for uh, a few dollars instead of dying. That's which is quite surprising. Very we found sim- in market te- we found in market test groups, eighty percent of people didn't want to die. Wow, that's that's insane. <laughs> Um, and that's why you should hire me as an ice cream maker. <laughs> okay. Wait, can you... Okay, it's... You, I, How do you it's still do that? Kind of... Can you... So do... if you um, <coughs> click and drag, you can make a little box, and you can highlight ah. the cards to move them like that. I gotcha. Oh, that's not Whoa. how I want to rotate off. Oh, there you go. You're a magician! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just going to move them over uh, a little bit more. Oh, I can't. Well, okay. that's unfortunate. Okay. Want so, me to move this? I can uh, move this over a little bit. Yeah, just move that over a little bit. That way bit. it's not like right next to Nix's. There, yeah, there you go, there you go, there Perfect. Okay, off we go. Okay. All right. So, Ritz, listen. Yeah. Um, I don't know what other kind of people you've been interviewing for this job, but uh, listen. Some real me. interesting characters. I'm going to make a great ice cream maker. Okay. My father once told me that it's best to have a sidekick. So I actually have a personal assistant I pay for out of my own pocket to help me serve ice cream. Wow. They'll actually go around and encourage people to come up to buy the ice cream while I stand behind and do the selling, you know, the accounting, keep track of the money and everything. Oh, are they like, like the that. sign spinners so, that stand outside and like spin signs? Yeah, exactly, yes. Okay. I come with one of those just by myself. Yeah, wow. you don't have to pay them. So awesome, well, I have a sidekick. And thank you, dear old dad, for helping me, you know, learn that lesson in life. Mm-hmm. Bequeathing so, me a as far as my ice cream making skills, I actually went to college and majored in snatching um, up money. <laughs> we called it accounting and business, but uh, you know it was a, it was a joke among me and my class. We called it snatching the dough, <laughs> which isn't really ice cream related, but hey, that's what we called it. And I'm good with money. Okay, what I'm trying to say is I'm good with numbers. Your your documents will all be clean. I thought you were going to snatch the cream. Come, call up your snatch if you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I would have much preferred to be able to snatch the cream than the dough. That's a different job, but I ice cream. Don't worry, it. you can turn this the around, Wade. Yeah, you can turn this around. around. You have one more. Yeah, you turn it more. around. This is going great. All right. Well, sure. finally, listen. I have a trust fund. <laughs> oh, I'm rich. Okay. I will work for free. With my sidekick. Why? Because I just, I'm bored at home. I just want something to do. <laughs> I, I was a business major. I've been working with money all my life. I just want to have some people interact. I want to make some kids happy by selling oh some God. ice cream. Oh my God, this is great. So you're not trying to snatch the kids. You're trying to give the kids ice cream. Making clarification. Yeah. No, no, no. The snatch is just the term we use for the, you know, collecting money. I thought it was the flavor of ice cream. <laughs> no, listen, that's a different company. You're going to have to call Minx Incorporated for that kind of stuff. All righty. Well, I've seen two very interesting individuals so far. You, you have one more person to interview, though, I Dan. do. Yeah. Damn. I heard you're a great ice cream maker. Let's yeah. see what you great want. I'm great at pounding out vanilla, so let's make it happen. <laughs> well, I am a hot mess. When I make ice cream, I make sure I get ice cream all over my body, and I don't wear a shirt when I do it. I make damn sure that this ice cream drips down my moobs. <laughs> okay. <Careful. laughs> it's a cold mess because it's ice cream, but I'm a hot mess when I make it. All right. <laughs> so, and unfortunately, I unfortunately I have a special flavor of ice cream called the Red oh, Sea no. flavor. Now, Please. keep in mind, it's not what you're thinking. It's a very salty ice cream made with sea salt so it's a red mm. sea salt ice cream not like a red bloody mary sea salt ice cream not like yeah, a bloody no. mary yeah no not like a bloody no. mary uh-uh. that, sound, that sounds delicious it actually does mm-hmm. sound interesting like red it's velvet you know really good it's the red sea but uh let's see what you got here <laughs> i wear a trench coat while I do it to store the ice cream cones in my so pocket no shirt so I can... but a trench no coat shirt. Yeah. <laughs> i want to look like dante from Devil May Cry. Okay, I want to look oh. cool. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, the guy that... from Hercules. Do you want to buy a sundial? Uh, do you Dan, want to buy an ice cream cone? <laughs> Dan, are you a big hit with the ladies with this uh, this this uh, scheme? Or yeah, absolutely. Do How else like... would I be a hot mess? Well, that's... Exactly. I suppose so. I suppose oh, so. Man. I mean, it turned me straight just seeing those three cards. So yeah. it's either that or wearing the trench coat. I look like the neighborhood watch sign guys. So. <laughs> yes, because you want to look like the neighborhood watch guys. <laughs> Those aren't the people they're looking for. That's the I'm neighborhood watch themselves. 
I'm making ice cream. What else do you want me to be? Respectable? Well, right, so who are you going to hire? So rich. Alrighty. Well, I have a very interesting decision to make. You know, we had Minx with the the taint flavored ice cream, the Yoga Pants employees, which is very uh, helpful, and the fear mongering that she can do to make people buy the food. So obviously, I'll stay in business, but maybe not have the best Yelp review. Uh, we've got Wade, who has a sidekick who's always out there helping. You know, give us some promotion. Uh, you know, he. Uh, Likes to snatch that dough. Uh, but it's a trust fund kid. So he doesn't care about getting paid. He's just doing it so he's not bored. And probably so his parents get off his back about, you know, not doing anything. And then we have the hot mess over here, Dan. Uh, yeah. With your Red Sea and your trench coat. Let's be honest, you're not even in the running. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, I would have to give it to Wade, man. Yay! <laughs> I don't get paid. <laughs> that's the best. That's the only reason you got it. It's because I don't have to pay you a fucking cent. We're in the same boat as Wade. <laughs> Thank God for my rich parents. Yeah. All right. Oh All right. I guess I'm interviewing for the next job. You sure are. <laughs> Please. How do I take one card and not all of them? Just, uh, uh, just click and drag quickly. The black ones that you want anyway for oh. the job. So you just click and drag all at once. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right. All right. You guys ready? Yes. I am interviewing for. A masseuse. Oh, yeah. Oh, where's that massage baby. oil? We need that card back. We sure do. <laughs> uh, what's this? Black, what are these black cards? That was here? that was your test. I didn't have a place to put it. The model oh, one. Okay. Should Ooh. I just shuffle it back in? Sure. Uh, is Wade first? Wade yeah. is first. Wade, Wade is yeah, first Wade is for first. the uh, job of masseuse here. So here's your first card, Wade. Oh, thank you. It thank is you. a million oh. dollar smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen, if you want a masseuse, first you have to get business. And there's a lot of competing massage therapists out there, but I would be the best because I have a million-dollar smile. People Aww. want to come. Let me touch them, if you know what I mean. Well, because they want to come, that's for sure. My smile brings yeah, them in uh, the that's door. That's where you go. <laughs> the, the logo outside is just my teeth, not even my face. They will walk right in. <laughs> wow, that's really impressive. It is, right, yeah, I ne know. Next, let's have a look at what's next on the agenda for you, Wade. Uh, a katana. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so some people come in and they want special things like they want to have cucumbers on their eyes. They want different creams applied. I can cut up all those vegetables and creams right in there in the shop of my really I just cut them really right up, put the cucumbers fresh right on their face. So that way they get the maximum benefit from my treatments. Oh my God. Fantastic. And finally, your third card here is uh, a Buddhism. <laughs> yes. So I practice Buddhism whenever I do my mas massaging. And people find it very relaxing to see my big plump belly as I um and ah. Uh, and I'm probably offending all the Buddhists out there because I really don't know much about that. Right now, but trust me, it's a great, peaceful, happy time. And everyone is just relaxed, enjoying me cutting up the vegetables, putting them on their eyes. And if they start to get a little bit worried about my massage tactics, all they got to do is look at my smile and they're immediately comforted. Beautiful. Full list. Wow. All right. Okay. Um, I just want to move these out of the way to waste, please, because I have no idea how to do that. I only put them <laughs> in the winner's circle down here. There you go. Whoa. Oops. Whatever. Did the thing again? Listen. Right, okay. So Dan is up next. Dan, you ready? Yes. Absolutely. Your first card is being hung over. <laughs> I always come into work hung over, and I give my clients the special massage oil, the hungover massage oil. It may or may not be puke, but it's definitely special. <laughs> wow. Oh my fucking god. Just wow. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> and then I just uh, make Minx say, oh my fucking god. Moving, moving swiftly on. Um, we have a club as well. <laughs> After I apply my special oils, I beat the shit out of them with a club. <laughs> <laughs> just loosen them up. Okay. Finally. <laughs> this one. A hot dog. <laughs> I make sure to serve them a nice good hot dog between their buns when they're finished. Oh. And I don't mean their physical buns. I mean hot dog buns. Uh, Good save there, Dan. I mean, I mean, to be fair, you had the job until that last card, but <laughs> Damn. I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> All right, sure take those over thought... there. Take those over I'm there, sure Dan. Try I thought yeah. everybody would be hungry oh after here, a I'll, I'll deal myself, Minx. I'll just have all three okay. out, and I'll flip them one by one. That's oh, I'm in pain. That's absolutely fine. Be ready. Oh, God. Make it all nice. All righty. All right. Let me get all Great stuff you guys. Yeah. Holy Grail I is the first card. I am the Holy Grail of masseuses. I am <laughs> the world's best masseuse. You want oh. shiatsu massages? I'll give you a shiatsu massage. You want the hot rock massages? I can give you one of those too. Any Ooh. any kind of massage you're looking for. I almost called it massage. That would have been real weird. Uh, any kind of massage <laughs> you're looking for. I got it. 
I, I, I'm very adaptable wow. in that way because I'm the Holy right. Grail. Um, we filter uh, all of our water that we serve you guys as well as all of the lotions and things. Uh, oh, so the... you drink water while you're being massaged in your... In you your need to stay face. hydrated, especially, you know, like yeah. the hot rocks on your back. You're going to start sweating. You need to keep those <laughs> no, 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 fluids that's true. up. That's true. That's a good, that's a good point. That's a good point. So we Beautiful. filter all that as well as the lotions. They're all filtered. <laughs> <laughs> so our best and most popular uh, <laughs> massage, I guess, tier is called the Sexual Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> and it's where... The sexual... The sexual Tyrannosaurus. That's an interesting... Where did you come up with the name, actually, first of all? That's well, the most important question I feel here. Uh, so, it's because we dress you up <laughs> in a T-Rex costume. Uh, and just <laughs> rub you so hard that you don't <laughs> That sounds amazing. That certainly sounds like an interesting kink. I'm, I'm glad... Why do you I'm think of the Holy you, Grail of the source? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I have a very, <laughs> very difficult the fuck? choice to make here. A very difficult choice I got to make it. Here, so I got I'm it. Like, I need to think about this. We got Wade with his million dollar smile <laughs> sign, and his katana to dice up those cucumbers beautifully, and his uh, dedication to Buddha <laughs> that makes you feel nice and relaxed. Uh, we have. <laughs> We have Dan. Uh, we have Dan, uh, who is vomiting in your hair while he uh, looks after you, clubbing you almost to death, and then inserting a hot dog in some buns. I mean, well, I've got. I mean, one thing I think about, I, I like about this one is you can always just take their money and run while they're unconscious. So uh, that's always a bless. Well, I gotta feed them before I go. Like... Exactly. Exactly. And then we have sexual Tyrannosaurus uh, Ritz. With, yeah. who is the Hugly Grail of Messers and provides a nice filter of water with his dinosaur hand job. Oh and um, I'm going to... I actually I actually like the idea of taking the money and running, so I can go with Dan. Oh, this one. Dan oh, yes. you, are, you are the head masseuse. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> are you guys hungry for hot dogs? Damn right I'm not. <laughs> no, we're not. Everyone's 1-1. Oh. We sure oh, have. Man. Wait, Dan, what? with the shocking win there, not gonna lie. It's Quite not, shocking. I, I, I think Calculate. I had it until Sexual <laughs> Tyrannosaurus happened. No! I can do this, Wade. Stop it! I think I had oh, a God. really good chance, and then I got boned by the well, cards. <laughs> I always thought that it was a special technique that predates time itself, so... I wish you would have chimed in with that before I talked about orgasms. <laughs> it was the Holy Grail. That's on you. Uh... He just went to the bathroom. Yeah. I hit the wrong door. No, what the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! I'm gonna grab you. What the fuck? Fuck off, Nick. I pimped it out and everything. Brennan. Brennan. <laughs> Listen, this is an awkward situation. <laughs>